My name is Damien Intrican. I'm the CTO of Bluescape. Bluescape is an interactive visualization platform. Our customers use it for anything from joint design to collaboration on planning to goal setting, working together in rooms, across rooms. It's a different way for people to communicate and collaborate on projects and products. The spatial event map is our trademark technology for how we define the information that you put into Bluescape. So because we have what is for all intents and purposes an unlimited amount of workspace, we need a mapping system to keep track of where these assets are. If somebody writes a stroke in a particular spot or somebody adds an image or puts a design or adds a PDF, all participants when they interact with the workspace, we track all those events multi-directional voice as well as visual so you can see their faces or you can see their expressions as you work with them is a critical part of the system. From the beginning, our development criteria were very high performance oriented. We were shooting for the highest possible experience from device to device. We support three different device clients, the web browser, an iOS, and a, a tileable touch wall. And when we started looking at the right technology for the tileable touch wall, really the only thing out there that was going to support what we wanted to do was a C++ type environment. QT is a collection of libraries that provides us with a development framework that allows us to build graphical tools, interactive objects that our users can use to create menus, to create objects that they can write on. Uh, one of the keys to Bluescape is you want to be able to interact with these objects. So QT was just a natural pick for us because it integrates really well with C++. It's fast. It really allows us to get the kind of graphical objects that users can interact with quickly. We don't want to have to hand code all those things from scratch. It would just take too long. One of the great things about QT is that it just accelerated our development right out of the gate. We were able to plug it in and go really within a couple of days. We had another version of the wall which was written in a different environment, but there was not enough headroom. We knew that we were going to be hitting a wall, and so when we switched to C++ and QT, we knew that essentially we had more or less unlimited headroom. But we really, I think, are just beginning to scratch the surface on what we can even do. It's just going to keep getting richer, stronger, and faster. Time to market is really crucial for what we're doing. Any new startup is trying to get to market fast. So I think one of the main reasons for selecting QT was speed, which in turn becomes a money saver. I'd say there's a third piece, which is reliability. One of the things we want to make sure of is that it's a very high performance, very ambitious piece of software. And so we also want to make sure that the application is stable. Using QT has allowed us to reduce the risk around stability. One of the things we're working with the Digia Consulting Group, which is really great, is that we get a lot of inside understanding about what's coming. We're often working on the most advanced release of Qt, in particular things like upgrading to the browser. I know that they're working right now on a new browser, which we're going to be implementing as soon as it's ready. We stay on top of what's coming in the technology and the development framework from Qt, and often give them our feedback about what we'd like to see in there. So it's been a really good two-way conversation. One of the biggest surprises about using QT for me was that there are no surprises, that it really delivered what we wanted it to deliver, and in fact more than we thought it would. <laughs>